today I am going to teach you how to subtract one digit to one digit numeral in different ways. Now let's move to this. First thing is what we call subtracting by crossing out. In subtracting by crossing out, you are going to move. Okay, for example, I have here how many um, rectangles here or parallelogram here. Let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, so I have here 7 I'm going to cross out. For example, I am going to cross out 2 rectangles or parallelogram. How many did I cross? So we have two. Now, in subtracting, by crossing out, you are going to use the sign of minus. Okay? So it means we have 7 here minus 2. It is equal to, what is the answer? 5. So 5 here is the left over parallelogram. So let's count if it is 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, that is how you subtract by crossing out. I will give you another example. Okay, so how many triangles do I have here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we have here A triangles. Okay. Now, I am going to cross out, for example, 5. Let's try. So I will cross out this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. How many triangles did I cross out? So we have 5. Next. What will be the sign of subtraction? It is minus and how many triangles are left now? Okay, so we have three. One, two, three. So we have here three triangles left. Okay, that one is for crossing out. Let's move to the second one. The second one is what we call subtracting by using number line. So in subtracting using by number line, it is look like in addition. But then, in addition, we move forward. Yes, we move forward in addition. But in subtraction, we move backward. Yes. So, again, addition, move forward. Subtraction, move backward. What does that mean? Okay, I will give you an example. For example, I will go to my friend's house. My friend's house is in 7th house or 7th house. So what is my first number? My first number is 7. And then when we say move backward, for example, I want to go to number 4. That is my aunt house. So from 7, I am going to move backward to go to number four uh, let's try one two three how many times i jump backward so we jump three times so it means in subtraction we will use minus sign and when we subtract this one where did it stop so, I stop in 4, number 4. So, the answer will be 4. Yeah. So, it means when you count backward, you need to count how many times you jump 
and the answer will be your final answer. I want to go to number nine. Okay, so what is my first number? So we have here nine. And then I want to move to number three. So from number nine, I want to go back to number three. How many times I need to jump? So when you jump, it should be one at a time. So let's try. We have here one, okay, two, three, four, five, six. Is it number three now? Yes, correct. That is number three. So how many times I jump? So I jump six times. What will be my last number? And that is our answer, which is number three. Do you understand? Okay, let's move another one. So again, you must go to the first number. Okay, my first number, always remember to start with zero and go to the first number 10 and then move to number two by counting backward let's count one two three four five six seven eight yes we jump eight times so ten minus eight it is equal to 2. Do you understand? Now, let's move to number 3. In number 3, we have subtracting by using number bonds. So, in subtracting using number bonds, it looks like in addition. But this one is an opposite way. It means... We have already the answer. For example, I have here 9. 9 is my answer. And I have here 3. Now, to find the missing number, so we have here 9, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. So I jump or I stop in number 3. How many sticks did I draw? Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it means what is the missing number here? So the missing number will be 6. Can you follow? So I am going to write here number 8. Uh, number 8. Now, so this will be our answer here. No? Now, I will put here 5. Maybe I need to change some color to show the answer. So, 5. 8 minus 5. By the way, you need to draw a line. So, it means these two numbers, it will give you the sum of 9. But then, if we have 9 and 1 is here, so, you need to count backward to get the missing number. Let's move to the second example. So, we have here 5 and then 8. Now, to find the answer here, what are we going to do? Start from 8 and stop to 5. So, let's, uh, let's try to count backward. So, we have 8. Because it, uh, the 8 is here already. So we will start with 7. 7. 6. 5. So I stop in 5. How many stick I draw? So we have 3. And that is the answer. Another one. 
For example, I will give more number. Um, seven. And then I have here three. What do you think will be here? So, like what I've said, start from seven and stop on three. So, I will start counting on six. So, we have here six, five, four, three. How many here? So, we have four. Got it? Now, let's move for the number four. In number four, we have subtracting by using standard form. As we all know, standard form have two way. So, we have vertical way and horizontal way. So, in vertical way, the number should be start from top to bottom or up to down. But, in horizontal way, we start from left to right. Like, for example, we have here 9 minus 4. It is equal to 5. Right? So, count backward. Or we can use some picture, like for example, we have here heart, 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 heart. How many hearts are here? Five. So we have five. Subtract. Next, I am going to cross out two. So I cross out two. How many are left? So we have three. Got it? Now, always remember that in subtracting numerals or numbers, you should write the biggest number first. So, the first number is what we call minuet. So, the minuet is always bigger than the second number or we call that as subtrahend. So, if you write smallest number in the first number, like for example, I am going to put 4 minus 9. Mm. 4 minus 9 is not a correct working or solution. Why? Because 4 is less than 9. It should be 9 subtract by 4. Why? Because 9 is bigger than 4. I will give you more examples. So, we have 10 minus 7. It is equal to 3. What else? So, let's try another one. We have here 8 minus 1 is equal to 7. That is vertical wave. The next one is what we call horizontal way. In horizontal way, you must write from left to right. So, for example, I have here 6. 6 subtract by 2 is equal to 4. If we are going to use by picture, for example, we have triangle. I have here triangles. Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, I have 9 triangles. I gave some to my friends. How many I give? So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, we have here 7. Next, use the minus sign. 9 minus 7, what is left? We have 2. Okay, that is horizontal way. Oh, another one, another example. So, we have here 8 minus 5 is equal to 3. Or 7 minus 2 is equal to 5. 
So that one is the standard form. We have vertical way and horizontal way. The actual one is what we call subtracting involving zero. What does that mean? So it means that, for example, I have here 7 minus 0. So it's look like this. I have 7 triangles. I'm not going to take anything. So how many left? So we have 7. Another way. For example, we have 5 minus 5. So it means what? I am going to draw 5 circles. Then I am going to cross out 5. How many left? It means 0. Now, let's review the 5 ways of subtracting numbers. So, the first one is subtracting by crossing out. Next one is subtracting by using number line. Next is subtracting by using number bond. And subtracting by using standard form. And lastly, subtracting involving zero.